Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. We just had real life opening day a few days back. And so now here is my opening day for my 1994 Florida Marlins. Now, there have already been two days of games in this 1994 schedule, but this is the first game for the Marlins. And we are on the road versus LA. And I am going to change LA to computer manager. We want them managed by the computer. And it's going to be David Weathers for us going up against Ramon Martinez for the LA Dodgers. Uh, our lineup today is going to be uh, Chucky Carr leading off and playing center field. Jerry the Governor Brown at third base. Gary Sheffield in right. Conine, the professional hitter in left field. Dave Magadan at first base. Benito Santiago will be the catcher. Kurt Abbott will be at short. Uh, Brett Barbary is at second. And of course, David Weathers picking up the rear um, and pitching. Um, for the uh, LA Dodgers, they will lead off with their center fielder, Brett Butler. Then uh, Delino DeShields at second. Mike Piazza at catcher, Tim Wallach at third, Raul Mondesi in right field, Rodriguez in left, Eric Caros at first base, Jose Offerman the shortstop, and then of course Ramon Martinez pitching. And so without any further delay, let's get on with this game. Welcome to Dodger Stadium. And there he is, my main man, Chucky Carr. And let me move me over here. We're going to swing away. And he hits the ball up in the air. Maybe a single. Yes, it is. It falls in. And I'm going to try to steal because if you got Chucky Carr, you got to use him. Out. I got he was gunned. All right. So that brings the Jerry, uh, the Governor Jerry Brown up against Ramon, and he gets, oh man, he got a single. I could have had a rally going. All right, Sheffield is up. And Sheffield is out, and that brings up Conine. And Conine, did he hit it out or even a double? I'll take a double. Nope. It was just an out. So Brett Butler is facing our main man, David Weathers. And he's out. So the Shields is up. And see how we do against the Shields man. Ball four, he walked him. So that brings Piazza up. You don't want to walk the guy ahead of Piazza. Just kind of a little like an side that I would have for Weathers. And that's why. I think he just probably went deep. No, no. Chucky Carr grabbed it at the wall. So Tim Wallach is up. And what the heck was that? He tried to steal, I guess, and Santiago threw the ball down a second, and it just went into center field, so DeShield moved to third. Now Wallach up, but he gets him with a strikeout. So we're back up here in the top of the second. Magadan is at the plate. Magadan, of course, a very good hitter for most of his career. Not a great fielder, though. And he's out. Benito is up. Uncle Benito is going to fly deep to center field to Butler. And there's two down with Kurt Abbott up. And Kurt Abbott is flying out. And um, in case you missed my initial video on this season where I talked about setting up this season, I will put that... Um, on the end screen, I will connect, uh, you know, a link to that video in the end screen so that you can see that. And here is Henry Rodriguez with one down. Weather's pitching quite well early here, but he does manage to um, 
walk another guy. So that's his second walk of the game. Eric Caro hits it right through the uh, infield and into the outfield for a base hit with Jose Offerman up. You would think we could get Jose Offerman. And we do with a double play. So the Dodgers are back in the field, and we're up with Brett Barbary batting. Put another shrimp on the Barbary. And he's out. David Weathers is up, one down. Here in the top of the third, here in the Marlins third. And he gets walked. Weathers takes a walk and Chucky Carr is up. He singled last time, but was thrown out trying to steal second base. And now it looks like he's going to pop out to the Shields. And with um, two down, that brings up the governor, Jerry Brown, who singled last time and it was grounded out this time. So we're in the bottom of the third in a nothing-nothing game against uh, what you would have to think is a pretty good L.A. team. And we get Martinez to roll out to Barbary, so there's one down, and Brett Butler is up. Brett Butler, not really a power threat, but he is an on-base threat, and he does get on by bunting his way aboard. Shields is up. And he's going to ground out, it looks like, hopefully, to Abbott, and uh, he does. And that was a double play. So we're leading off with Sheffield to take the, uh, to lead off the Marlins fourth. And Sheffield hits what might be a single. It might drop in. Yes, it does. Of course, I'm not even tempted to steal with Sheffield. So Con Conine is up. Oh, nine, right up the middle, right back through the box. And I am going to, I'm going to send the lead runner to 16. And that did not nip me in the butt. So there are runners now at the corners with Maggot in up and no outs. Ramon Martinez, we got him on the ropes. We got to put him away. And it's a double play, but it does score a run for us. Cost us two outs, though. Santiago is up. And he is going to be out. So we go to the bottom of the fourth with a one nothing slim, one nothing lead. It would be great to get a win here on opening day of 1994. But And there's one down with Wallach up. Weathers, again, allowing uh, just two hits so far, but with two walks as well. Still not all that bad. Mondesi is up, and Mondesi, what did he do? He's going to fly out, and so we are up again in the top of the fifth. So um, Abbott is at the plate. Top of the fifth here. And did Abbott go deep? Tell me Abbott hit it out. Nice. Kurt Abbott, of all people, hits a home run. And then Brett, the Barbary. The Barbary Coast. And he's going to fly out to Rodriguez. So there is one down. And Weathers is up. And Weathers is out, and Chucky Carr, who's got a hit today, but was thrown out at second trying to steal. And he's out. So we're going to the bottom of the fifth with a 2 nothing lead here on opening day with our 1994 not-all-that-great Marlins. Henry Rodriguez rolls out to first base. Karros is up. Caro is going to fl hopefully fly out to Sheffield. And he is out, and Offerman is up at the plate. Later on, if we maintain this, I'm going to have to take a look and see what we've got along the lines of defensive replacements. 
Got to think about that. But right now, the Jerry Governor, the Brown, is up at the top of the sixth. And he's going to pop out for the first out, it looks like. I think the Shields can handle that, and he does. Sheffield is at the plate. And he's going to ground out to the Shields. No, it gets away. It gets away. The Shields with an error. So now we've got Sheffield on second with only one down and Conine up. But he is out. And that brings up Magadan. Come on, Magadan. Drive him in. Get a base hit. Little base knock. That'll drive Sheffield home. And it looks like maybe he did. He went right down the line. And is it? No. Unbelievable catch in the corner by Mondesi. Leave it to Mondesi. All right. Well, Ramon Martinez is up. Let's see if they pinch hit for him here in the bottom of the sixth. No, they don't. They, they're happy with his pitching. Happy enough to let him keep batting. Um, but we did we did just nip him, though, and Brett Butler is up. Brett Butler is going to um, walk. Weather's having a little bit of a, you know, control problems here. I'm sure my bullpen can't be that good, though. We're going to have to stick with him as long as we can. And we got the force at second, so there's two down with the shields aboard and Piazza up. They shouldn't be trying to steal with the shields, especially with uh, Piazza up at the plate. And that might be a deep, <coughs> a deep fly to car, and it is. And we are going to the top of the seventh with Ramon pitching to Santiago. Ramon Martinez deals to Santiago. And he is out. Kurt Abbott, one for two on the day with a home run. Leading our team in home runs, Kurt Abbott. And he gets he's safe on a, an infield hit with Barbary up, who's 0 for 2, unfortunately. And uh, that brings up David Weathers. Now, the question is, do I take David Weathers out right now? The answer is no, because I like to. I'm an old school guy. I like to stick with pitchers until they show that they are that they're getting to. So he's going to lead off by pitching to Weathers, or to by pitching. Weathers is going to lead off by pitching to Wallach. Both names start with W, but they're far different. And Wallach goes deep. Is that going to be played? No, it's gone. So they they are on the board, but we still have a lead, two to one. I'm not sure. If uh, Weathers is tired. Mondesi is up and he gets on by an error. See, now the wheels are coming off. This is what's happening. Henry Rodriguez. Henry Rodriguez is going to hit a double probably. And I am going to stop the other runner. All right. So we did apparently stick with him a little too long. I am going to go to the visitor bullpen. And we're going to bring in, do I have Terry Matthews as a reliever? I probably do. I would think I do. So we're going to bring Terry Matthews into the game. And we're going to hope he can shut this right down. <clears throat> Uh, but he can't, and that might even be a home run by Caros. Nope. Conine caught it, so it is the first out of the uh, seventh for the Dodgers, but then Offerman goes right through the hole. They got runners at the corners. Let's see if they pitch to Ramon. They, they let Ramon hit, and he hits it. He gets a hit. The pitcher got a base hit off of Terry Matthews, who's terrible. And Butler gets another base hit. Now they're just now they're just now they're just bragging. All right, so we got the shield. Yeah, we it just fell apart on us. We had this game. I was convinced we had this game. Mike Piazza, Piazza is up, two down, and he goes through the hole. Now we've got to throw for the lead runner if to have any chance. Nope, he scored. So it's five to two. 
I mean, unless we have some kind of offensive weapons that I don't know about, this is this is not looking good for us. Chucky Carr, at least, we're leading off the inning with. Chucky is going to fly out to Mondesi, it looks like. And he does. And the Governor Jerry Brown is up with one down. And he gets a walk, so Sheffield is up. Sheffield's two for three. Let's see if he can do something here. Uh, they still keep Martinez out there. And he walks, so Conine is up. Now this is, we've got some good hitters coming up right here. So we have a chance to put a dent in this lead. And he walked too. So the bases are full with one out and Magadan up in a favorable matchup and they let Martinez pitch tired. Did he get a hit? No, it's a double play. Are you kidding? All right. So I'm, I'm just going to send Matthews back out there because I mean, you know, why burn through the bullpen in a game that we are likely going to lose? Mondesi strikes out. Um, Henry Rodriguez is up. And he's going to hit a go shopping at the Gap, apparently, or hit a home run. No, no, it was caught. Nice. And then that brings Karos up. And he is out. So it boils down to this. Top of the ninth, we got to have three runs. Santiago is going deep to the fence. Could that be a double or is Butler going to get it? Yeah, it's a double. And Kurt Abbott, we're going to let the man of the hour get a hit or, you know, take his at bat because he's got a home run and two for th What the heck was that? A bullet drive? Um, I'm going to hold the runner because we need base runners and runs. We don't need to be thrown out at third base. Barbary. Barbary, is that going to be a base hit? No, it's caught. I'm going to hold the runner. Again, we need base runners and base hits, and now we are going to pinch hit for Matthews in this key spot. Um, the pitcher is Todd Worrell now, so he is a righty. I'm going to pinch hit Destrada. I mean, who, who wouldn't, right? Arrestus Destrada is going to pinch hit. And he is going to be, it looks like, out. And that is it. So we are going to get the box score so you guys can take a look at what happened here. I mean, really what happened here was a terrible seventh inning. Let's boil it right down. Or sixth. Was it? No, seventh. Seventh. So Weathers went six. He allowed four hits and two earned runs. And then Matthews just came in and threw gasoline on a fire that was already going. And pitched two innings, allowed four hits and two earned runs. Um, and for them, Martinez pitched excellently. He walked a few too many guys, but pretty much he was excellent. And then Warwell uh, nailed it down for their team. So with that, let's, uh, let's take a look at the uh, standings now. Because, as I said, there were other games. So this is the National League right now as it looks. We are the only team who hasn't won a game in the East. We're 0-1. Uh, the Mets are 2-0, and and then Philly, Atlanta, and Montreal. Well, Phil Philadelphia is 1-0, and and Atlanta and Montreal are both 1-1. and And so you can see the other, stand, the other uh, divisions here for yourself. But... Um, yeah, that's it. Marlins start off 0-1, and uh, that is going to be it for me.